This channel has over 200 videos about saltwater aquariums, which contain a veritable goldmine of essential information for the aspiring reef keeper. So to counter that, today I'm going to give you a solid five minutes of useless information about aquariums. You ready? An aquarium is a type of vivarium, vivarium being the word for an enclosure in which animals are kept under semi-natural conditions. The word aquarium was coined by Englishman Philip Henry Goss at London Zoo, being a portmanteau of the words aquatic and vivarium. Before that, an aquarium was just called an underwater vivarium. Unlike freshwater fish, saltwater fish do drink water. Saltwater environments draw water out of a fish's body via osmosis, meaning they have to constantly drink to compensate. Fish have taste buds on their tongues, lips and body. Fish also poo in the water they swim in, so think about that next time you can't be bothered to do a water change. A starfish's mouth is also its anus. <laughs> After the film Finding Nemo launched, wild stocks of clownfish in places like Vanuatu dropped by 75% due to demand of people buying pet clownfish for their kids. Those stocks have since recovered, and almost all clownfish available in the trade are now captive bred. An average clownfish weighs about 9 ounces, but can live for over 20 years. There are around 30 known species of clownfish in the wild, all of which are born male, with only the dominant in the group going on to become female. During the winter months, clownfish migrate to deeper waters to keep warm. Owing to a perceived increase in difficulty, the average saltwater aquarist is approximately four times as smug as the average freshwater aquarist. What you may know about seahorses is that the male gives birth to babies. What you won't know is that the male seahorses need burping. Because of the unusual birthing mechanism, they often get trapped gas, which needs to be released by gently holding the seahorse and tapping its tummy until the bubbles come out. You can recreate the same sensation simply by drinking eight pints of lager. Certain species of shark have been known to become pregnant in captivity without mating. It's a phenomenon known as parthenogenesis, proof, if it was needed, that sharks can quite literally go f themselves. Oxygen dissolves less easily in warmer water, but warmer temperatures make fish more active and therefore require more oxygen. Apparently Mother Nature has a sick sense of humour. Corals are thought of as some of the most delicate animals in the world, and yet corals were around at the time of the dinosaurs, and yet of course didn't go extinct. So in that way, an aquapora coral like this is tougher than a Tyrannosaurus rex. Aquariums have been scientifically proven to be stress reducers. Spending time around aquariums has been shown to drop heart rates and lower blood pressure. In fact, that continues over time, so you'll get happier and happier the more time you spend with an aquarium, until you get an algae outbreak and go back crazy. The world's smallest aquarium holds just 10 milliliters of water, which is about two tablespoons worth. The owner removes and replaces the fish regularly as they quickly get too big. Dude, just get a bigger tank. The world's largest aquarium holds 12.9 million gallons of water, which is over half the size of Lake Missouri for all you Ozark fans. It's based in China, attracts over 10 million visitors a year, and includes whale sharks as one of its main attractions. Regularly cleaning a home aquarium is one of the most irritating ongoing chores in the hobby. The world's largest cylindrical aquarium is 82 feet tall and is built around a transparent elevator. It takes a team of four divers to clean it every single day. Keeping saltwater fish as a hobby became popular as early as 1851. It's now reported that Americans own over 9.6 million saltwater fish compared to 139 million freshwater fish. Combined, fish keeping is said to be the second most popular hobby in America behind stamp collecting. Nerd alert! There's even an aquarium on board the International Space Station. In the reef keeping hobby, corals can change hands for over $10,000 a piece. The world's largest and least financially conscious parrotfish, the green humphead, eats corals, crushes them up, and quite literally poos them out of sand. It's how the white sandy beaches of Hawaii are formed. Think about that next time you're on holiday and feel the sand between your toes. And finally, the name for a horizontal cylinder tank that's designed to hold delicate animals like jellyfish and newborn seahorses is a creasel tank. Creasel is the German word for spinning top or gyroscope. If you found the video useless, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.